Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. In today's video we'll be checking out a crazy item. It's an endoscope inspection camera for smartphones. It comes in this very simple package. There is not even a box for it as it's a very cheap gadget. Okay let's just cut this tape and take that endoscope out of this package. There you go. We have our camera in this not so good looking plastic cover. Honestly guys the packing over here is not good. By the way, this endoscope camera comes with different cable lengths from 1 to 5 meters. I've got the 5 meters one. So inside the packet, you have the endoscope camera, few accessories and a manual. Oh my goodness, the manual looks all crumpled. We'll check it out later. First let's see the endoscope camera. This endoscope has a cable length of 5 meters and weighs around 200 grams. It has a lens diameter of 5.5 mm has a 640x480 resolution when connected to phones and 720p resolution on PC. One more thing is that it is certified with IP67 rating which means that it is water resistant and can be used underwater for up to 1 meter. This is the endoscope inspection camera guys. It is really small. You can see 6 tiny LEDs over here and the camera is at the center. Oh my gosh the camera is so small. I wonder how the video quality will be. The camera head is made out of plastic. You got the controls over here. This is the shutter button used to take photos or videos. And you have a dial over here to increase or decrease the LED brightness. The whole body is made out of plastic and it runs down to this micro USB cable which goes to your smartphone. Now let's check out what accessories do we get in this packet. Wait, what is this? Is it a periscope? Yes, it's a tiny periscope. You can use this attachment to see stuff which is nearly impossible to see directly. That is so crazy, right? It just has to be fixed on top of the endoscope. That's it. You get a pipe. I don't know what's this used for. You also get a normal hook and a hook with a magnet. And an OTG USB cable to connect this camera to your PC. Now before connecting this to your phone, you need to scan this QR code to download an app called Camera5 from the Play Store. I've already installed the app on my phone. So let me just plug the micro USB cable in. So when you connect the camera to your phone, you'll get this dialog from the camera fire app. Just click on OK and wait for a second. There you go. You can see the live video from the endoscope on your phone. That is pretty cool, right? It's got a resolution of 640 by 480. Let me show you how bright the LEDs can be. These LEDs are bright enough and can be really useful in dark places. This endoscope camera can be used to see and record video of small objects or things that are difficult to see with our naked eye. For example, it can be really useful to study this PCB, like what kind of transistor is this or what is written on it. The video quality is okay, you can see it on the phone. As this endoscope camera doesn't have an autofocus feature, you should maintain a minimum distance of 3 cm between the object and this camera. Now I'll show you the periscopic view by using this attachment. You just need to screw it on top of its head to fix it. Just like this. Let me tell you my thoughts on it. The concept and idea is really good, but the implementation is not that great. The glass in the periscope is a very low quality one. I can barely see anything through this, so it's not of any big use to us. So let me give you my verdict on it. It's a good endoscope camera. You can have fun with this by exploring places and holes that you normally can't see with your eyes. The video quality is pretty average, but considering its price of only 650 rupees, it's acceptable. Now the question is, should you get this gadget? Well, if you make lots of electronic projects like me, involving SMD components which are really hard to see, then this camera will definitely help you. This thing costs only $10, that's around 650 rupees and is available on Banggood. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. So that was it for today guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.